Now let's talk about our weather across central Indiana right now. Not a cloudy day. At least the fog is gone. We can see the uh, skyline. Couldn't see it yesterday. And uh, Sean Ash is in to talk not only about the uh, temperatures. We're going to have a big temperature drop coming up, but also chance for showers and some <laughs> snow. Uh, well, hey, man, it is January, yeah, right? Of we've been uh, we've been living on easy street when it comes to snow. A lot of people now. The question is not about when we're going to get snow; it's when's when's the sun going to come out? Yeah, so, we haven't seen it in a while. Uh, not a whole lot, and we don't have a whole lot to show you here from this satellite perspective either, Scott. So uh, it is going to be fairly gray. We may get a few breaks. It'll be few. It'll be very late at best. I'm still thinking it's going to be pretty much overcast for today. We're at 40 in Indianapolis. We've got 40 in uh, Kokomo. 39 Marion, 37 in Richmond. Temperature still above uh, the average high, which is in the mid 30s this time of year. We do have wind chills uh, that are in the mid to low 30s. So a little bit of a brisk uh, to the uh, brisk bite to the air, if you will. Northwest wind here in the city, running at about eight miles per hour. Up in Kokomo, you can see the gray sky there with a wind chill of 33. When you take the 40 and combine it with the northwest wind at 10 miles per hour. So when you pick up the kids from the bus stop, don't have to worry about precipitation, but. It, Again, going to be a little chilly here. We'll go lower 40s for your forecast highs for today. As we get into this evening and tonight, we keep the clouds in place. I think tonight maybe a little partial clearing, and then getting ready for tomorrow morning, we're still quiet. I mean, we're not talking a whole lot of precipitation here. That will change a little bit by the time we head toward the middle part of Wednesday. Forecast tonight is partly cloudy. Temperatures won't drop too much because the wind is going to ramp up. That'll be a big part of the story tomorrow. We'll have gusty nearing about 40 miles per hour. We're going to sneak into the lower 50s. It will not feel that warm due to the wind that will be ripping through the state here. Along with this will be some showers, the wind whipped variety. Now this is going to be a front that's on the map here that pushes through tomorrow evening. So it's going to be a day where we, we get into the 50s. But by the time we finish, we're falling into the lower 30s here by early Thursday morning. And when you wake up Thursday morning, We'll have scattered uh, snow showers and even a few locally heavier squalls here moving across the state during the day on Thursday. It's part of this transition from the uh, 60s that we had last weekend to more typical January type uh, conditions for us. And this will carry over into the latter half of the week as well. Future Track 13 as we get into Friday, cloudy initially. And then we'll see some more snow showers kind of flaring up here. So I, I think enough to, that's going to dust up the ground before we head to the weekend. And speaking of that weekend forecast, what a change from the near 70 degree warmth that we had last Saturday. So we'll step you down from 52 tomorrow with showers, snow showers and some squalls around both Thursday and Friday. And right now it does look like during the day on Sunday, we will have some snow around fairly likely across the region here, enough to accumulate. Now, it may not be uh, real heavy stuff, but it will be around. Remember, last Saturday we hit 66, only 32 this Saturday. A jolt to your system, and this cold will linger for a little bit. It looks like as we head into the second half of uh, the weekend here, we'll go from 30 on Sunday to a blustery 30 on Monday as well, and then flurries around early next week. So if you're a fan of uh, snow, we'll have some in the forecast here several days, Scott. I don't know if that fits your uh, role or not, my friend. The snow. We'll embrace it when it gets <laughs> here. All right, Sean, thanks.